Hey everybody. Generally when I do my videos, rolling release distros are either adored or they're feared in equal measure. A large section of the Linux community and my viewers, particularly newbies, believe that these distros are only intended for people that know their way around command line or they're more quote unquote experts. Now, in all fairness, the distros themselves have done very little to disabuse people of this belief. But contrary to the popular rolling release model where you're required to install and set up every single application by yourself, Blue Star Linux, with its large selection of default apps, is ideal for advanced and, listen to me, new and newbie users. Now, Blue Star Linux is based on Arch Linux. You can get it in an installable ISO and you can run it in a live environment. And it's got some different additions and I'm gonna show those to you in a second, but here's the best part. I hear this a lot on a lot of the videos that I do. Is it available in 32-bit? Well, guess what? Blue Star is available in 32-bit. Now, if you go over here to their website to download it, it's only available on SourceForge. They don't have a big fancy website. If you come down here, it states Blue Star Linux is an Arch-based distribution built with the understanding that people want and need a solid operating system that provides a breadth of functionality and ease of use without sacrificing aesthetics. Blue Star is offered in three editions. Actually, it comes in a basic edition too. But you've got basic, desktop, desk pro, and developer. Now, each one of these comes with a specific amount of applications. So, on basic, you get the basic apps, and then you're going to get more on desktop, more on desk pro, and then, of course, you're going to get a whole lot more on the developer. Now, each of these versions or spins of their distribution is tailored to address the needs of a variety of Linux users. Blue Star can be installed permanently, or you can use it in a live environment. And then you come down here, and it's got some screenshots of it. It's a very beautiful operating system. And it runs on the up-to-date kernel. Now, if you go over to Files, and you decide you want to zip over here and download it, you go down here, and it says Distro. Now, right here, it's just going to download your regular 64-bit full-blown ISO, which is 4.1 gigs. But if you click on Distro... You can come down here and it gives you some different versions here. You've got the 64-bit ISO right here, or you can go down here and you've got the 32-bit ISO right here. And it shows you what kernel, 5.19.7, but it's going to update to the new 6-point kernel because it did earlier on a machine that I installed it on. You just pick what version you want, whether it be 32 or 64 bit, and then you download it. I know what everybody's going to say, SourceForge, oh my lord. No, it didn't take that long. It, it downloaded rather quick for me, maybe 20 minutes. And the reason I say very quick is because for SourceForge, that is quick. So you download it, and then you can throw it on a USB or open it up in a virtual machine. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to zip on over to the Blue Star Linux desktop. And what you'll want to do is pick however you want to boot it up I'm gonna go ahead and go boot Blue Star Linux we'll hit that and let it start booting and it will run through all of its pre-checks and we should get a little bit of a boot screen here there we go plasma made by KDE and once it finally boots up whether you've got it in a VM or whether you're booting it from a USB this is your desktop now this is based on KDE. This is a latte doc, by the way. Then you come up top, you've got a little hidden area right here. This has got your app menu. So all your apps will show up right here. And then you've got time, you've got power, you've got a little calculator right here. Then you've got a little resource monitor right here. Let you know you're using about 2% of your CPU and about 800 megs of RAM. I've got three gigs issued to it. You've got Octopi right here. You've got your sound, battery, USB, networks, and then you've got your hidden menus right here. Now that we've looked at that, we'll come down and you'll see something a little different on your desktop. You do have the home widget, which has all your home folders right here on the desktop. And then of course, install Blue Star Linux right here, which is the Calamari's installer. Now, if you open this up, I'm gonna go ahead and show this to you real quick and show you some of the options that you have. There are no partitions, we're not going to install it, but if you go to install it, you've got a basic install, you've got a desktop, desk pro, and developer. Now this really goes however you want to do it, but here's what I do recommend. If you pick desktop, 
desk pro or developer it tries to update the system while you're installing it so that means it'll go ahead and install a basic system then a separate window will open up and it will go through the updates all over here and it does take longer if you do it this way so this is what I recommend if you want to do a basic install and before you do that you want to go ahead and go up top and turn your Wi-Fi off so it doesn't try to ask you any more questions about updating while you're installing and then once you restart you can do all your updates from there and then you're going to go through your regular things that you do when you install a Linux distribution whether it be location keyboard partitions users look and feel summary install and finish now I'm going to go ahead and close out of Calamares and yes I want to close and then come down here and you've got things like Dolphin, Console, GIMP, VLC, LibreOffice Writer, FileZilla, Thunderbird, Firefox, Pigeon, System Settings and then Trash Can. Now you can right click right here and go ahead and configure desktop and wallpaper and it'll bring all the wallpapers you have up. Now this does have quite a few different wallpapers on it and they are nice some of them are your base KDE wallpapers and then some of them are your Blue Star Linux wallpapers you'll notice them especially if you've had any time in KDE but if you scroll down and let's say we wanted something like that let's go ahead and apply that that's a pretty nice looking wallpaper and then I do like the black one that is the arch logo myself let's go ahead and look at that one I really like that one I think I'll leave that one there now we'll close out of that and like I said you've got your home widget over here documents down let's say you wanted to open up something in downloads just click on it and it would open up dolphin right there on the screen for you and you guys have used dolphin or you've seen other videos where I've covered dolphin it's a nice file manager I also like the theme that you're using here I think it's not all up in your face it's kind of a subdued theme and you don't have white text you got more of a white yellowish text my eyes feel a little better with things like that you may totally hate it but that's the beauty of KDE you can set this up any way you like so we will close out of dolphin now I do want to go up here and show you octopi you've got octopi up here let's go ahead and open it up and right here it says the following packages need to be retrieved total download size 1.29 gigabytes let's go ahead and make this bigger I'm gonna confirm no I'm not gonna confirm that what I want to do is just go look at octopi and it may make me update before I can show you how to actually use octopi and we're not gonna do that now if you've watched any of my previous videos that have octopi on them you'll know that once you run these updates it'll install all of this now this is everything right here I told you that if you choose anything other than basic at your beginning install it will try to install all of this while you're doing your preliminary install so you don't want to do that but once these are installed you just come in here and it's a lot like synaptic package manager you just type in the application that you're looking for it'll find it you mark it for installation then apply and it installs it this does not come with paymac but you can install paymac if you want to that's completely up to you now i want to go back up here and let's look at some of the applications you get out of the box like it said you're going to get a lot of applications out of the box because it wants to be more of a self-sufficient distro where when you open it up you have everything you need at your fingertips and if you don't have an internet connection you can still get a lot of work done so you've got a lot of development tools right here now you don't need to have these if you don't want them you of course can clean them out and not use them education games graphics Digicam, GIMP, LibreOffice Draw, Ocular, Internet, you've got FileZilla, Firefox, KGit, Conqueror, KTorrent, Multimedia, KMix, VLC. You can see that they keep a lot of more of the K programs on here. K Address, Contact, K Org, the full LibreOffice suite. Let's go ahead and see if this is going to open up for us and I'm running it in a virtual machine I've only given it three gigs of RAM I want to see just how snappy it is with three gigs of RAM and that's actually not too bad let's go ahead and close the release notes and there you go you're in LibreOffice and ready to do work now one thing I do notice with the theme out of the box it's kind of hard to see some of the things you have here in the background now if I remember correctly you can go over to edit or under options I'm sorry I'm sitting over here mumbling view now I think you can go with a different theme we can go with probably 
let's set that to dark and apply that and see if it gives us see there you go you get lighter things so it makes it easier to see so that's really just customizing it and getting it the way you want it set up but blue star is a beautiful os i like the customizations and i like what they've done there now let's go back up here we were at office and then you've got your settings grub customizer ice t nvidia x server settings should you have an nvidia card and then system settings let's go over to system settings real quick and of course you've got your appearance now what i want to do right here is i want to make that double click because i don't want it to open on a single click and let's look at about this system yes i want to apply that and then we're going to go over here it shows Arch Linux KDE Plasma 5.26. So it's not got the 5.26.1 update, which I'm sure it will once you do all your updates. Kernel version 6.0.1 Arch 2 1. And then it just says we're on an AMD Ryzen with Radeon graphics and 2.9 gigabytes of RAM. And then if you go up here, let's go to appearance. Let's see what we got out of the box. You got several different looks you can get out of the box. So if we wanted to switch over to that, Let's go ahead and apply it, and it switched over. And you get a little different layout on your widget for your folder. So I like that, because it had them stacked a while ago, and then now it just goes completely across. So you can play around with that a little bit, especially if you're on a USB or you decide to actually install it. It gives you a little bit of a different look, but that's KDE. And I'm not gonna go through all this. You guys know all these settings down here. You can adjust these and make these the way you want to and I will close that let's go back up top and it makes this bar I think just a hair wider as well yes that looks a little wider so I like that as well we'll come back up top and we will come back down to system utilities look at system you got dolphin G parted K system console octopi octopi notifier pac-man log terminal X term utilities lost and found blue star linux installer help please donate power and session now they do have a please donate button here i don't have a problem with them putting it there all the hard work they put in on the operating system and getting it looking the way it looks and keeping it up to date that doesn't bother me now if it was a desktop icon that had it and you couldn't get rid of it i would understand that but that's hidden that's out of the way it doesn't bother me but that is blue star linux it is a nice clean operating system built with the K desktop environment. It's very beautiful, very functional, arch based, rolling release, and it comes out of the box with all the applications you're probably gonna need to do your daily work. Is this something you might download? Throw in a USB, take for a test drive, or are you somebody that's already using Blue Star Linux? If you are, or if you might try it, please drop that in the comments below. Do me a big favor today, please like this video. More likes I get on a video keeps me in YouTube's algorithm, and that way, if I'm making content that's helping you out, it could also help somebody else out there. Also, don't forget, my memberships here on YouTube, to become an eBuzz Central member is only 99 cents now, and you're gonna get a bunch of perks. We're in the process of getting that all redone. We're only gonna have two levels. We're gonna have a producer level and then a member level, and the member level is gonna stay at 99 cents. That would be awesome if you could support the channel that way please don't forget to subscribe to the channel it doesn't cost anything and if you end up not liking me you can always unsubscribe if you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we're producing you can support us by becoming a 99 cent member here on youtube buying us a cup of coffee throwing us a donation on paypal or zipping over to patreon and becoming a patron to the channel those links will be in the description below as always thank you for watching my video and i will see you in the next video